Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Wizard101 video. This is one that people have been wanting for a while, but I wanted to make sure that my fire was max level and that I had most of the gear so that I wasn't just going off of whatever I got without having to farm for it or anything. But I feel like I have decent fire gear, so I think it's time for the fire 125 max setup. And this is what I've been using for now. This isn't going to be the best fire gear in the game on my storm when i did the second gear set video that one i consider to be some of the best storm stats that you can get with the damage and critical this one is not going to be like that it's just going to be what i'm using now and what i think is pretty good you could get better gear but i would have to farm for it and i don't know if it's going to be worth it because we're coming up on imperial part 2 fairly soon we got uh i mean next month right in october we should be getting some kind of hint or some kind of maybe test realm released we'll see but that's all coming up really soon so i wanted to make sure i got this video out before all that happened so fire is finished we finished up medulla the only quest i have left are the uh zeke ones so let's go ahead and get started on this so with the current gear that i have i have 6,000 health 142 damage which i like 142 damage is pretty good and then 34 resist 36 accuracy because you're gonna want what at least 30 in order to not fizzle the uh, other spells yeah you want this one you need 25 for that spell this one you need 30 for raging bull and for scorching so you want at least 30 on your fire in order to not fizzle all your spells so we have that and then for critical i'm at 81 percent which i feel like is pretty good i'll crit most of the time and then block doesn't matter anymore uh pierce 18 you could get more critical if you switch out the pierce jewels that I'm using for critical. So up to you. But I like some pierce, you know, around 20% is usually pretty good. And then uh, some healing and what else? Uh, power pip is 82. Not the best, but as you will quickly find out on a fire wizard at max, it's tough to balance out your power pip and your accuracy. Like those are the two things that for storm i'm able to kind of do it pretty well and it's not that difficult but for fire i, I really struggle with getting 100 percent or even close to 100 percent power pip you can get like 90 percent something like that if you use the right setup but the one i'm using with 140 damage it's gonna be at 82 so it's okay i don't know i don't like 82 normally but for a fire i feel like you just kind of have to deal with that and then seven percent shadow pip uh you'll see the gear i'm using though that gives me that so those are the stats right now. I have some things that you can interchange, which I'll talk about. But to start things off, I've been using the Crocopatra hat for a long time on this character. You can get it at level 100, and it's pretty good. Some people will argue that the Master one is better. And if you want to use that, go ahead. I actually don't have it on this character, so I can't compare the stats. But believe me, it's pretty close in stats. It's just kind of like a few things here and there if you want. So you compare yourself and decide which one you want. You can do that. Uh, Cracker Patcher has been good for me though. So I'm going to stick with it. And I don't think there's any other options that people... Oh, there is. Well, there is one. The Cabalist hat is one that other people have uh, incorporated into their sets. I don't have that either. So I'm sticking with Cracker Patcher. If you want to use either of those two and play around this, with the stats to see which one is going to give you the best results, then uh, you can do that. But I don't actually have Cabalist hat. And that was the other thing I could have farmed for. So the two things I could have farmed for are the Darkmoor hat and the Cabal's hat. And just kind of look at the stats and see which one I like better. But since I don't feel like I need to have 100% the best fire stats in the game, then I'm going to stick with this. It's fine for me. I still have a lot of damage and give some power pay up and a lot of critical from this one. And then the universal resist. So it's good. I would just use that if you have it. If you have Malster, you can use that. So... That is the hat. The robes, I have the Malister one, which I've been using for a long time. It's pretty good. 18% accuracy is nice. And then uh, just overall balanced stats that you guys know from Darkmoor gear. Um, I also have the 125 robe from General Tennyson right here. And I got it just on one of the streams that we did, the most recent stream. And I was it? Yeah, it was the most recent. Eh, maybe it was two streams ago. But I got this and... People were saying like it, it's a pretty good robe, but I don't know. I was looking at it. I'm like less power pip. You get a little more resist. 
you get well <laughs> you have way less uh of the accuracy there eight percent less accuracy from uh the monster one so i don't really like that i think that monster is still better this one it has a few benefits but the negatives on this one i i just feel like are too much i don't like the less power pip and the less accuracy because if i use this rope it's gonna be so hard for me to get to 100 percent accuracy on all my spells and i just can't do it some people can use this i just feel like it's not the best i don't like it so i'm not gonna use it the other one is the bone smasher robe you could use that if you want to it's really similar to the master one i think just a couple stats that are different if you want to use that you can but those are all the like the top three ones i think that most people use i'm gonna stick with master just like i do in my storm so that one's been good for me the Kabbalist boots, these ones, if you're going to farm for one piece of Kabbalist gear, it's usually the boots. Some people use the boots and hat. I use that in my best storm setup. I use the Kabbalist hat and boots. I only have the boots for now. I don't know if I'm ever going to get the hat. Maybe if I just randomly get it, but I'm fine with these. These are really good. 35% damage just from this piece of gear. That's crazy. Gives you some resist, some accuracy, and the Shadow Pip too. So... It's really good uh here's a comparison with the darkmore ones you're not getting any power pip on the cabal's ones you're getting a little less accuracy and no pierce the block is really not important you're also getting a little less of the resist there and the major benefit though is you're getting critical and a lot more damage so that's why people use these because master boots don't give you critical this one gives you way more and also way more damage so that's why people use that one i don't think there's another one to compare i used to use the dolly ones people were like you should switch that out i still like the dolly ones i think they're good but they're 10 percent less damage than this one and same critical though so these ones are still not bad if all you have is the dolly boots they're not that bad they're still pretty good i like these i just want to put them on quick and compare it to the darkmore ones so these compare with darkmore they're really close and actually i like these better than the darker one unless you're going for like no it's the same thing yeah the professor's boots for fire are perfectly fine if that's all you have you can use those i'm gonna stick with the cabal's ones because i like the high damage and uh i mean that's basically it. that's why people use the cabal's boots because the damage is crazy so they're willing to sacrifice other stats in order to get this kind of damage so the wand is one that i've been kind of switching around a little bit i've got the headmaster staff from the professor's pack it's really good high damage a good critical i guess the best one or one of the best ones would be that witch hunter wand that i've used on my storm i'm not going to use it on my fire because my storm can use that he's got the the 150 damage set but that one would be good you could use that on a fire professor staff has been good for me i've used it for a while so i'm gonna stick with it there's also like the death metal skull some people use this one for crit and damage and some pierce We've got the, well, I actually don't have the fortune teller, do I? I have the 100. You could use this at level 120, which would give you, I don't even know how much damage that gives you, but some good damage, power pip. You can get some extra power pip from this one if you want. I should probably use that and see. But I don't have one on this character, I don't think. I could transfer a fortune teller over. Maybe I have one. I'll probably just transfer the storm one I used to use because it's storm and fire. This is a, another wand that I've been playing around with. You get 145 damage and less critical though, which I kind of don't like. So you're trading some, you're gaining damage, but you're trading the critical, which I don't know. I don't really like too much. You get a couple more armor piercing, but same power pip and everything. I don't know. You could make that switch if you want. I just like this one. I feel like it balances my stats a little bit better. And because I like having decent critical some people just use this and your damage goes way down to 123 but you're gonna have 100 percent critical you could do that if you want to crit every time as a fire and if you feel like that's gonna be good for you then uh, you could do that maybe if i was farming i would switch to this but i don't know i still like having 145 damage so that's an option that some people will use and i think that's it for the staffs so there's probably some other ones from packs and stuff but i mean this one's from the pack it's not 120 and i don't have the 120 fortune telling this character but those are all pretty good just kind of look at the stats and see which one is going to fit for the gear that you have um moving on to the theme we've got the uh darkmore one this one is great it's also the morgan's one it's the same for every school it's kind of like you pick between those two and uh 
you either sock it critical or pierce and then you also have to decide if you want to sock it uh, power pip or accuracy this one i need the accuracy in order to get to 100 percent and then pierce is good i could put more uh, critical on this if i wanted to i just feel like you want to have some pierce though so that's why i went ahead and just did the double pierce on that morganth amulet has always been one of the best Maybe that one from Shane is good. I'm not sure. I haven't checked the fire one from Shane. Do I even have... I probably don't have it. There's no way. I have every single mastery from Omen because I farm Omen so much on this character. And I have a regular life mastery. But maybe the one from Shane is good. But for me, Morganth has been fine. I don't even have any jewels on this yet. I, I don't know. I haven't transferred it. I have a lot of 120 tier jewels. I could transfer that and get more health. So I could have over 6,000 health by a lot. For the ring, the Mimic Ring is always good for like every school right now. A lot of people using this gives the critical and high damage that you want. You can also socket another critical or pierce up to you. And it's just overall awesome ring. Doesn't give the power pip, which is why people are lacking in power pip right now. But it's worth it if you want high critical and damage because the Alpha and Omega gives no uh, critical at all. I really want them to come out with like the next tier of the Alpha and Omega, which is like the balance stats because it would give power pip, damage. It wouldn't give critical, but I still want to see it. I feel like that'd be cool because this was level 90. Can we get like a level 130 Alpha and Omega ring? That'd be kind of cool. Who knows? Uh, Dr. Pepper is the pet that I've been using for a while now. Triple crit, triple damage. Really good overall for a fire or storm. You can have these similar stats just for storm. And uh, this is the same pet on my Storm, uh, Rex. This, Dr. Pepper and Rex are the same pet, just, you know, different schools. So, a lot of people go for pets like this. Really good. I got this from the kiosk. If you want to get a pet like this, you can get it from the kiosk. It's possible. Just look for the Gaburas or other pets that have stats like this. You have to socket one of the talents that you don't get. So, if you don't get Dealer, you need to socket Dealer. If you don't get Giver, you have to do that. So, keep that in mind. I had to socket critical or er, fire striker so you're gonna have to socket one of those and then fire gulcher i magically got this one day just opening packs during a pack of palooza somehow i got the fire gulcher i never thought i would get it to be honest i had the storm gulcher for a long time and the fire one i was just like that this pack is so hard to get the mouse that you want from and i don't know if i'm gonna get it but somehow i did so happy to use that and the deck i actually have the uh, omen deck on my fire so i feel like this is one of the best decks in the game and i've socketed power pip on that so that is the gear setup that i'm using for now this is probably the setup that i'm going to keep for when imperial part 2 comes out but keep in mind i will not be questioning my fire in imperial part 2 until a lot later since i want to level my other characters first this one is going to kind of be towards the end and then uh, eventually you'll see a fire walkthrough but might not be till 2019 sometime. But there you go. Hope that kind of just gave you a guide to what to use for Fire Wizards at max level 125 for now. This will change probably when Imperial Part 2 comes out. Because I'm guessing there's going to be some other better gear. I'm hoping there is. But for now, this is really good. And if you got stats anywhere close to this, then you're fine. So there are little tweaks here and there. But I feel like this is just... In general a nice guide on what gear to go for so hope you guys enjoyed that if you did leave a like on if it was helpful and uh, subscribe for more wizard videos in the future i can't believe the fire is completely done like it's crazy to me to think that my fire is completed with every world max level i can make a stat video like i don't know i have three max level wizards that's the most i've ever had so i'm excited but yeah thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you all next time